Smell. 
surprise for her. <laughs> Thank you, Reg. That really was a lovely greeting. Why, well, Mentor Mary, you're a sight for sore eyes. You really are. Welcome back, Mary Poppins. But aren't you going to shake hands with Bert for good luck? No. Why not? We have. I have enough luck on my own. Thank you. Hey, now, see here, that's against the regulations flying down from the sky like that. And where from, I'd like to know, eh? Where from? Well, if I were a park keeper, I'd have straightened my cabin bunch of my coat. Now, come along, children. <laughs> <laughs>
not notice. I see. Then what do you expect me to do?
before. You are going to stay this time, won't you, Mary Poppins? I'll stay until the chain breaks. What chain? Where? Oh, Michael, do be careful. The room's a bit excited to see me back, and you never know what might happen around the place.
see me at the close of business tonight. Tonight? Well, I will go with you and give that chairman a piece of my mind. No, no, it would only make it worse. We might as well face it. Just a few hours, I'll join the ranks of the unemployed. George, are you sure? Quite sure. Which means we better start making some plans. You mean your mother's face? Oh, George, won't you miss it terribly? Needs must, my dear. We always said we were saving it for a rainy day. Tomorrow, we'll accept to fall. George, do be careful. Oh. <gasps> Oh, yes. 
You turned out a scheme that was bound to make millions, and we want to know why. All right, and I'll tell you why. I refused Mr. Von Hustler because the scheme was hollow. It had no product, no substance, no meaning outside the walls of a bank. Oh, sure, he talked about assets and profit and growth, but it wasn't a word about people. I know that if a man puts any value on real life, but as far as you're concerned, he's a washout. But I'm afraid I do value it, gentlemen. In short, George Banks is squire, rediscovered the human race. I apologize for ruining the bank, but I do not apologize for understanding that there are more important things in this life than money. Oh. <laughs> ruining the bank? Ruining the bank? My dear chap, what on earth are you talking about? You saved our bacon. Haven't you heard? Von Hustler's scheme has ruined our rival. you kept us out of the nasty scandal since records began. We're not asking for your apologies. We're offering ours. Oh my what? Well, and another thing. You remember giving a loan to a fellow named Northbrook? Well, he's repaying it, and he's opening two new factories. With the percentage you settled, we're bound to make a fortune. Oh my what? Well, that's just it. We very much hope you tell us how you did it. Give us a word, it'll be quite safe with us. Give you a word? Give you a word? I'll give you a word! Supercalifragilisticexpialidosis! <laughs> Though this happened in it, something you might have thrown into this. If you say you're not enough, you'll probably tell me you're going to say 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 you're going to
Someday you will be a fine man. Oh, it makes me so anxious when you talk like that. All kind, you know, a bit like yourself. <laughs> well, this all the thanks that I get for all the trouble I've taken. That's more like it. Be cross very often. Be very cross. <laughs> That's dainty, Bert. Thank you, Mary. I painted them for you. <laughs> it's tonight, isn't it? Yes, Bert. <coughs> Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Bert. Look after yourself. Thank you. 